Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. We have another World Tournament Easy A character that we can go ahead and take a look at here. Um, this, of course, is the AGL Beerus uh, from the World Tournament. I feel like this guy is okay. Um, I mean, he has some guard capabilities. I think he actually really can do some stuff for us. Um, I, I feel like there are examples of some of these, you know, World Tournament Easy A characters really being not quite so good or poorly designed and stuff like that. I feel like this Beerus is at least decent. So we'll go ahead and give him a sticker. We've got him easy aid. We got a maxed out rainbow uh, equips on him. We got all the good stuff. Um, oh, actually, Beerus, he's got a nice little sticker Ruski right there, huh? That actually, Beerus looks pretty good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and hop into an event and uh, test out how EGL Beerus is after his easy aid. All right, guys. So before we hop in real quick, this is what I went for with the build. Um, I gave that bronze equip thinking maybe that could help the guard aspect of this character a little bit. I do think that this Beerus and his guard, I mean, it, the restriction is kind of tight on it. But, I mean, this is a, you know, world tournament free-to-play EZA character. So, I would much rather a tight restriction on a strong ability than nothing at all, right? Like, I, I will take that. Um, so, because of that, you know, guarding when all characters are exploding rage on the rotation... This is a character that might be a little bit more effective in, say, like an Exploding Rage mission in some difficult event or Exploding Rage Super Battle Road or something like that. But we'll kind of take a look at him, see what some of the stats he's going to get are. I just gave this guy full additional um, for now. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in and uh, let's see how effective uh, this Beerus is with uh, this, um, you know, this build right here. Alright guys, here we are in an event, so now a little bit of a, kind of a mishmash team right here, but again, Be Beerus characters, the problem for Beerus characters here, and I don't know how they would get around this, I guess they could just make like Beerus enraged to be a character, right? Like, or, or you know, eventually we, ha certainly we have to get like Hakai Beerus, right? That's gotta happen. And, I mean, I would hope he has a different name, because the major issue with Beerus characters, right, Beerus has the same problem as Cell characters, really, which is that Beerus wants to be run with himself. I mean, let's just go ahead and quickly take a look at the characters that link up impressively well with this Beerus right here. So, this is what we're working with. Now, immediately, number one, we could take a look and see that all these characters suck, right? They're all bad. Uh, but in particular, Exploding Rage units, only, I think, the Beerus and Monica outfit is even a, an Exploding Rage character. But guess what? The thing is about Beerus and Monica's outfit. He's unrun. Like, it's a free-to-play character from 50 years ago. So, links are certainly a major problem for Beerus characters. Um, he does tend to link well with Whis, but it's not like the Whises are the craziest ever. I mean, Int Whis is certainly solid, right? So, I, I, I'm not really too sure here. Um, that's why, like, you know, if they're gonna give us, like, a powerful Beerus in the future, like another Dokkan Fest or an LR or something like that, um, I do hope they make him in such a fashion where links don't have to be that big of a deal. Typically, characters where links are not, like, the, the forefront is characters that are very strong with support, like Bulma, or characters that are ridiculous with defense, like the Golden Frieza characters. Those are characters where, although to be fair, Golden Frieza, I mean, if he had big bad bosses, he'd be significantly better, right? Because you're always running him a lot of times with big bad bosses characters. Um, but remember, this Beerus, he does have the guaranteed guard if all allies in the same turn are exploding rage. That is the number one way we want to take advantage of this character. His Link Set is Godly Power, Prodigies, Connoisseur, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. So kind of an iffy link set i mean there's really not any other way around that uh super attack effect he does get 30 percent defense on a super attack which we do like 120 percent attack and even start a turn 120 percent attack and even on super then he gets another 60 percent attack after he gets hit a second time then he gets an additional as a high chance to be a super after he gets hit the fourth time and then he guards if all allies are exploding rage characters i mean let's see so we're at 140k defense right here, essentially. He gets uh, uh, 30 He gets 30% from a super attack effect, and then he's going to get 120% when performing a super attack. So we want to keep those in mind. So, all right, um, let's just go ahead and see what Beerus is going to do. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm going to intentionally hold back a little bit with God Goku. I want to make sure that Beerus gets a nice, decent hit re right here. Is that four attacks by Cell? One. Two. It is. Okay. Um, so Beerus, I mean, we could get Beerus at, at full power after one turn, right? Because he, he needs to get hit four times. Um, he gets... So remember, his damage is probably going to look a little bit low here. Because, I mean, he ha that's a multiplicative buff right there, right? Like, the 60% uh, in the turn in which he receives a second attack. So, uh, 3.44 right there. Okay. Um, all right. So, let's see what happens. We got the hidden potential system additional, but unfortunately, it's just that. Two. Now, he gets his attack buff. Three. One more connects. And now, he has his additional right there. So, yeah. We have his, we have his full passive up. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and then uh, LR Beerus and Whis are going to be on rotation uh, next turn as well. So we'll have Beerus, you know, next to, at, like, his best his best linking partner in that it's the only real runnable character, Beerus and Whis. Beerus and Whis, I think, are an effective character. I think the physical Beerus is an effective character. Uh, and then uh, Beerus and Whis, it, it was given an effective EZA as well. Uh, we did have Bulma support right there. So now on this rotation... Uh, we're gonna get things uh, looking pretty good. We're gonna sauce up Beerus a little bit here, if y'all don't mind. We're gonna have Bulma support and Gohan and Piccolo support. Now remember that the Dokkan Fest, Gohan and Piccolo, they're a good character for this Beerus because they are exploding rage, right? So they, you know, them on rotation would give Beerus uh, his guard if we have the full exploding rage rotation, right? So we'll definitely take that. Um, now, that also brings me to the other point, though. Unfortunately, the other characters that could link well with Beerus, so Whis, Beerus and Whis, Champa, none of them are on Exploding Rage. I don't really get why Champa is not on Exploding Rage. He's always mad, right? Like, I I suppose they could give us a Dokkan Fest or an LR Champa at some point that could be on Exploding Rage. But all, literally all of the characters that link well with Beerus don't have Exploding Rage. Uh, Dokkan Fest God Goku does. That's another reason I brought him, right? I brought Dokkan Fest God Goku because he's an Exploding Rage character. We've got Gohan and Piccolo. They're an Exploding Rage character, right? We have several of them. Um, all right, so now we move to this turn. So, I mean, this is going to be a very good rotation for Beerus here, man. Right? We have a lot of his links up. We have Bulma support. We have Gohan and Piccolo support. And Beerus has his full passive up as well. So what that means is that Beerus can get... He can triple super here too, right? So, I mean, maybe... Hopefully we will see Beerus do that. Uh, I think we'll probably... We'll leave Beerus and Whis in uh, slot one right there. We'll do this. Um, all right, Beerus. Let's see what you got, my boy. Let's see what damage uh, Beerus can give us right here. Um... So, again, I, I mean, I think Beerus is probably... If I look at him through the lens of a world tournament free-to-play character, I think he's okay-ish. Uh, because they gave him, to me, I think, a clear, defined purpose. Which is to use him on an Exploding Rage team. So, 6 million additional. Nice. There we go. So, remember, every super is giving him 30% defense. And then another one. And then we get it. There we go. Boom. That that's that's gonna be probably our best turn out of out of uh, Easy A Beerus right there. Uh, now of course we don't have a full exploding rage rotation because of course uh, Beerus and Weiss are not exploding rage unfortunately. Um, I think I'll get one more rotation um, and then maybe let's just go do a run where we do have just like full exploding rage characters all over so that we could just see Beerus guarding. But I mean we essentially at this point have looked at what Beerus does have to offer us, right? What his, you know, abilities are and stuff like that. Again, I, it, it is a pretty tight restriction. Um, Exploding Rage is a category that I would argue is actually much, much better than it used to be, right? Exploding Rage used to be one of these meme categories, like Rapid Growth or something like that. But the thing is, look at some of the major options we've gotten. I would say within the last... Since worldwide of last year, starting with Tech Carnival Goku, right? We got Tech Carnival Goku, Path to Power Kid Goku, Beast Gohan, that banner unit, Super Saiyan Vegeta, who's not bad. 
Um, Dokkan Fest God Goku, Kale is strong, but she needs another, like, she needs Universe 6, so maybe not so much on this team. But then, you know, another summonable LR Super Buu, another summonable LR Fusion Zamasu, and then the most recent Dokkan Fest Gohan and Piccolo. Not to mention any EZAs and stuff like that that might have dropped at the same time. So, again, we have a fair amount of uh, decent characters here on Exploding Rage. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move to the next rotation for Beerus. All right, so let's go ahead and see um, what we can get right here. Again, this is going to be another decent rotation. I guess we could actually get higher stats on this turn damage-wise from Beerus than we did last turn. Since, I mean, Gohan and Piccolo, their support doubles up, does it not? So Gohan and Piccolo, um, they are giving us, what is it, 30% and 2 key to Bottom Master and Disciple and Saiyan Saga. And then it's another 30% and one key to super class uh in slot three which should trigger right there no it doesn't it doesn't double up no no it does there it goes there it goes there it goes okay perfect all right so yeah let, let, let's see what beerus's damage is right here um so i guess it should be a little bit higher um and you know he could always potentially triple super for us as well remember that beerus's additionals are pretty much all 50 50s yeah he's at 6.82 there's that so it's he's getting 60 percent support from gohan and piccolo rather than the 30 percent support he had previously Hit him potential system. Wow, we... Damn, back-to-back -back turns where he triple supered. Pretty good. Okay, let, let's see what our defense is right here. I think he could probably eat this well. That's not bad. I mean, this cell can do a lot of damage, man. He could do a lot of damage because he defensive debuffs you. So for Beerus to hang in there, I, he's not the worst ever. I mean, that was... I mean, we are juiced up a little bit, but like, Dokkan Fest... Gohan and Piccolo and LR Bulma. I mean, yes, their support is hitting these characters, but again, their their support is not hard to hit. Um, all right, I'm gonna skip ahead. Let let me come back. Let's do a turn where we have the full exploding rage rotation so that we could see Beerus with his guard. Um, but I mean he's at least for one of these world tournament free-to-play characters, to me, he is decent, right? Uh, world tournament free-to-play characters, man. I mean, you can't have over the moon expectations for them. The fact that they gave him, um, I would say his stats for free to play easy, they're, they're like, okay, but he can guard in that specific situation, which really could give him nice tanking ability. So uh, I think that the Beerus says he's fine. He's fine. Alright guys, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a rotation where we just see his guard activated. Um, and I figured we might as well just get as much footage as possible. So here's another rotation for Beerus right here. Uh, we do not have any support up or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and see the damage that Beerus is going to get. Uh, remember that Beerus doesn't need to get hit twice um, in order to proc, proc his extra damage. Um, but, I mean, I, the main thing I wanted to show with this was just to have his um, guard activated anyway, right? Like, that's kind of like my main intention right here. So we'll go ahead and put these boys off just like that. Uh, we'll float Gohan and Piccolo. And then, of course, by floating Gohan and Piccolo, that will proc their support, I guess, at least next turn for Beerus. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the World Tournament uh, EZA Beerus here. Again, I think that he's, like, decent. He's okay-ish, right? Um, I think the fact that he's got the guard will allow us to, you know, give him at least a little bit of use somewhere. Um, I... So, like, a new Dokkan Fest that comes out, or, like, a new LR or something like that... If, like, they had the guard, like, if they could guard only if the full rotation is Exploding Rage, that's a little, like, uh, no, I'm not a fan. But when it's a freaking free-to-play character, it's like, oh, well, that's okay. I'm not really, like, super butt mad about that or anything like that. All right, so this is a decent rotation for Beerus. We do have the full uh, Exploding Rage rotation, so Beerus will be guarding. Uh, we'll also be able to see him get hit the second time to get his attack buff. Uh, actually, if he gets hit all three times right here, he'll get his additional, too. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Beerus. Um, and then right after this turn, 
we will take a look at his details. There is that guard. There we go. Guard, and then he could pop out three, four million attack stats right after. By the way, you see the, you know, two million attack stat difference between him having all those links up. Like, you know, uh, what, what does he have? A godly power. Um, he has uh, prodigies, innocence, right? Like, those add a lot of extra attack. All right, this is Thrill of the Fight, Beerus. His leader skills, he recovers 2,000 HP per key sphere of characters type obtained. So for every age, you get, uh, for every, you know, same type orb you get, it's an extra 2,000 HP. Uh, pretty bad. His super attack uh, is the Destruction God's Fury, which gives him 30% defense for one turn, does supreme damage, and then lowers enemy defense. His passive skill, Pursuit of Knowledge, gives him 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he does 120% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Then he gets 60% attack from the second attack he receives in battle. Um, and then he gets an additional that has a high chance to be a super. That's a 50% chance. Starting from the turn in which we receive the fourth hit in battle. Um, and then finally, Beerus guards all attacks. If all allies in the rotation are exploding rage characters, his links are Godly Power, Prodigies, Connoisseur, The Innocence, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, he has a 135% 12 key multiplier, which is certainly a little bit of an odd number, but some of these old time free to play characters are like that. I mean, this Beerus came out during the second anniversary, so quite a while ago. Um, then in terms of categories, um, he, of course, is on the Realm of Gods category right there. Uh, he's also over here on Movie Bosses. Again, I, I look at this and makes me think a new Movie Boss character is coming up sooner rather than later. I'm telling y'all, you'll see. Uh, then he's also on the Sibling Bond category as well. Uh, Beerus is also over here on the Worthy Rival category. Sure. Uh, then Beerus down here is on the Bond of Master and Disciple category team. Uh, Beerus is also on Exploding Rage. Again, this is the important category for him to get guard uh, is from this Exploding Rage right there. Uh, then Beerus is also on Space Traveling Warriors, uh, that team. So he's on Turles' leader skill. Uh, Beerus is also here on... This is Planetary Destruction is what this category team is. I'd like to see Planetary Destruction get a new leader skill. Could be fun. Uh, then Beerus is also here on the Legendary Existence category team. Uh, and then finally, Beerus, of course, is on Battle of Fate from his fight with God Goku. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, World Tournament EZA Beerus. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.